All right, video, YouTube. Here's a video of full in-depth construction of a rain barrel. Here we go. Trying to get this done quickly, so I don't make a super long video for you guys. And uh, I'll talk here now as I'm going. So you want to take your time with that one a little bit and just get it nice and clean. Then take your uh, half inch uh, whatever hose bit here and then uh, thread it through one time first. Make sure it's going real well. Make sure your, sure your threads are nice and threaded in plastic plastic so it's nice and easy just to thread it in there. Kind of act like you're tapping metal, you know, the same thing. You want this to be done really well so it doesn't leak. and straight. Okay. Screw it in all the way and then unscrew this thing. Okay. Take your Teflon tape. It's going to screw in this way. So we want our tape to be itself around the threads as we do it. So that's not right. It's the other way. that works like that. So that's the way it works. Now we have some good threads, so we're going to screw this in here. Just like that. Now since it's so low to the bottom, if I were to do it like that, you wouldn't be able to get a hose onto it. So I'm going to turn mine to this side. No, actually I'm going to turn it, hopefully, yes, get one more turn on it, like that. Get it down as tight as possible, good to go. Close the valve off, make sure it's not coming. Alright, let's start on the top part. close like this. All right, see what we're doing. All right, the valve is over here. I mean, their downspout has to be over here somewhere. Let's see. That's a good area. So I'm going to take my, uh, take my wire mesh material. This is actually plastic. Grab yourself a nice sharp knife. Use a piece of gutter for a template. Big, you need to make it. That. There we go. Do some markings. Give yourself about half an inch of space. 
in between, such as that. Get it going easy, mack yourself a nice hole using the drill we used before. That's always fun. The other corner. yourself a hacksaw blade. Wrap it in a nice little rag, take it to your hands, and then just go to town on this thing. Fairly easy to cut through. See how thick that plastic really is. About an eighth of an inch thick. Done, you want to grab yourself your uh, screw bit, throw that into your drill. Then grab yourself some sheetrock screws, you know, wood screws, something like that, and screw this baby down.
very, very simple. Throw in as many or as less as you like. I like to add one at every corner, and one at every middle. Such as that. pretty much it done. I'm throwing my cap back in this part right here. Then you want to come over to your right here in your gutter. You want to take it and just cut it right off you know, right flush with your barrel there. And then uh, you just lead your lead your end right in there like this. And what you ended up with is something like this. There we go. Just feeds right in there like that. Keeps the big debris such as leaves and garbage like that. Oops, sorry, YouTube. There we go. Keeps debris like that out of the way. Water goes through there. Ends up down through here. Add in a little water. As you can see. Ta da! So it's just that simple, YouTube. Just find yourself a guy on Craigslist like I did that sells them for 10 bucks. Grab yourself two or three or four and uh, save the planet. You know, that's what it's all about. It's about saving the planet. That right there, 55 gallon drums, two of them, that's 100, and 10 gallons. Depending on the situation. It's kind of windy out here today. Okay, so uh, 13 minutes, not too bad. Thanks for watching YouTube. Uh, create yourself one too. And uh, they say the blue ones are good against algae or something. I don't know. But, um, you know, stuff is going to grow one way or another. So, you just got to deal with it. Thanks for watching YouTube. See you later.